Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, oh guys, I am so excited, but we're gonna be reviewing the new Nomad Cosmetics Whistler palette. Now I just received this in PR, PR, what? You guys wanna see what this palette's all about, what type of look I create and my thoughts on it. Well then definitely keep watching. Okay, so I think it was back in like October or November after I did like the Haunted Europe palette from Nomad Cosmetics, after I did that video, they actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to be part of their 2022 PR list. And I was like, oh my God, yes. I absolutely love Nomad Cosmetics and I am so blessed that Mikey introduced me to this brand because he was saying how amazing this brand is. So I went and gave it a chance last year. It was like their fire and ice palette. It's like based like in Sweden. I gave it a chance and I was just blown away by how amazing the quality of the palette is. The shimmers are just to die for. The mattes are so bl blendable and pigmented that I fell in love with the brand. Not only that, back in the summer of 2021, they were actually doing a PR search where they were only going to add people to the PR list who had 10,000 followers or less. And that is something that I admire so much because so many big brands out there refuse to work with any influencers unless you have a certain amount of following behind you. But the fact that they focus on small influencers, I'm like, Yes, those are the type of brands that I stand behind. So you guys can imagine how thrilled I was when the palette showed up. It's here. First off, what I do love about Nomad Cosmetics, they use all recyclable packaging. Everything in here is recyclable. They are very, very conscious about that. And I really do appreciate that because some brands don't. And they're also very, very detailed when it comes to their palettes. So first off, what we have inside is the Nomad Lounge. This is Whistler, British Columbia right here. Like how cute is that? You can put right on your door, super cute. And then this is how the palette looks. They're so detailed in their packaging. Like it is so unbelievably cute. And I think this is definitely perfect in time for like the winter season, especially with the winter Olympics coming up just right around the corner. This is perfect in time for that. So on the back, it says the destination is Whistler, BC. The coordinates are Whistler Village and the inspiration is the Snow Lodge. I love how they do that. They also put in a really cute like postcard and that I think is so cute they always every single one of their palettes they always put postcards in here and they tell you about the palette and whatnot and um it's absolutely amazing so it says that the new nomad collaboration with the whistler snow lodge palette the story an epic winter playground whistler is for both the white powder specialists and those who can barely <laughs> wait for s Asprey's ski the vibrant village phenomenal slopes and appreciation for the environment whistler is a moosing moosing it keeps snowmads coming back time and time again so we're better to open our first resort imaginary of course than here come join us at the nomad lounge the best bucking place in town and we promise you will have snow much fun i love their play on words so it says that this palette is a wintry mix of glacial greens frosty blues and cozy neutrals inspired by the whistler snow lodge surrounded by mountainous landscapes seven luxe mats six lustrous shimmers and two dazzling duochromes full of snow globe vibes the cause keep it local we're supporting the whistler community foundation I absolutely love this. This is freaking beautiful, by the way. They make me want to travel so, so bad. Like seriously, so bad. Now this palette does retail for $39. So let's go ahead and take a look at this packaging. Again, the outside packaging of this is just so freaking beautiful. It's like when I first saw this, my breath was like, oh, isn't that so pretty? Like that to me is so unbelievably pretty. Like, ah. Oh. I cannot get enough of how gorgeous this palette is. And if anyone's ever played with Nomad Cosmetics, they would know that their shimmers are truly so creamy and buttery. Now, when I look at this palette, I just wanna play with like some icy blue colors and do like a blue inspired look, especially since right now in Florida, it is so damn cold. <laughs> and like it's 46 degrees outside right now. It is really overcast and like spitting rain. And it is just a really cold weekend. It's actually funny because when I look at this palette, it makes me wanna go play in the snow. And uh, for a while there, every single year around this time, we would actually go up to Bangor, Maine, because that's where my best friend Alyssa is from. So she would take us around and it would be like in the negatives, like the negatives. Okay, so here's my Florida ass. 
Florida ass going to negative <laughs> degree weather in Maine. And that was a big shock to my body, but my skin, oh, did my skin love it? The atmosphere is so dry. I had a nosebleed every single day, but my skin never looked better. I love it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these colors for you. Then we're gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're gonna start playing with this palette. So I will start, I will swatch the first row and then we're gonna kind of go from there. All right, so here we have the first swatches. We have Ski In, a pre ski, Snow Bunny, Power Specialist, which like this could be dual chrome followed by for fox sake <laughs> i love the play on words for fox sake i know my ass i'll probably end up forgetting what that says and i'll, I'll probably be saying for fox sake <laughs> all right then we have the shade berry cool whistler snowmad black comb and up to snow good these are super super beautiful i'm telling you guys the shimmers they swatch beautifully and that shade snowmad is super super pigmented i kind of want to play with that shade it's a little intimidating because it's really deep and vibrant and usually like really intense shades like that tend to intimidate me because one wrong move and man that eye look could go from looking real beautiful to real bad real quick and then we have gone skiing with this beautiful shade called bucking great it's like this really deep like vibrant green i don't think i've ever seen a green look that deep before that's actually a really beautiful green i'm like not gonna lie and then we have the shade Ski Bum, which is actually a dual chrome shift. So it goes from like a light baby blue to like baby pink. And there's like purple in there as well. Very, very, very gorgeous. Definitely a shade that I want to play with today because this is truly such a stunning state shade. It's truly such a stunning shade. It makes me want to like go look at like the Northern Lights or something. So pretty. Then we have So A Moose and ski out right there. All right, so those are the swatches of all 15 shades. I really kind of like how they laid it out where they can make it so you could do like an eye look right here. You guys can do like an eye look right here. You can do an eye look right here, an eye look right here. They really made it kind of cohesive for you to make different eye looks, which I really do appreciate about that. But also the fact these are 15 shades for $39. That's actually a really reasonable price. And the little imprints they have in here are super cute. They're swatching beautifully. Even though I don't really base anything off of swatches, I always base it off the quality on the eye. I definitely say that these actually swatch really nicely so it's making me excited to apply them on the eyes so with that said guys i'm gonna zoom you guys in we are gonna get this look started i'm so excited this is my first nomad cosmetics review of 2022 i love how they really go all out and they find the coolest places to talk about to review to bring light to like i love how they do that it's so innovative so let me go ahead and get you guys zoomed in we're gonna get this started okay so we're gonna go ahead and start with the shade snowmad right here and we're gonna try to do like a really pretty halo eye look today hopefully this turns out nicely <laughs> i don't know if it will i'm gonna go in with my um, i'm gonna go in my e34 brush right here we're just gonna take it and we're gonna start to just place that in the transition area or the crease area so i got notified that four years ago today we had gone to maine for the first time and i don't think i've ever told you guys the story of me being on an airplane i think i might have i'm not entirely sure but I will include a clip. Now, if you guys don't know, I have a really bad fear of flying. And uh, my mom used to tell me that I was that horrible child that would literally scream, no plane, no plane, no plane, the entire time on the flight. I was that child that people were like, shut the fuck up and wanted to strangle me to death. And you know what? I don't blame them. I probably would have done the same thing to myself. I was a terror. And uh, my mom said it's because I physically couldn't see the plane. That's why I was freaking out. But once we got like on the little pedal jumper and I physically walked into the plane, I passed out. So that was how I was flying. And I hadn't flown since I was four years old. So we went four years ago because we had to fly into Bangor, Maine. Now, if you guys don't know, Bangor, Maine has a really, really, really tiny airport where it only has two terminals, okay? Two terminals. But it is located on the Bangor, Maine Air Force. So it has the longest runway in the United States where all like, you know, the C-17s and all that stuff can fly into. So we uh, went to book this flight so we can go to Maine because it was my best friend Alyssa's birthday coming up because her birthday's on the 27th and her now fiance was going to propose to her. So of course we were not going to miss, you know, being there for that event. So we bought our flights. Now, mind you, I was freaking out, like literally freaking out. I don't do well on planes. Um, the idea of being on a plane absolutely terrified me. 
So I was not doing good. I literally had to take a modium because I had like the worst traveler shits in the world. And I was so nauseous, I was so nervous, and I was on the verge of having a panic attack. So we booked the earliest flight in the morning because I wanted to just get it over with. I can't be one of those people that's just going to fly at night. I, I can't, my day will not be good if I know I'm gonna have to be on an airplane, okay? Especially that day, I knew I just was not okay. So we booked like a 7 a.m. flight because it was only, um, three and a half hours to get there, but we bought, we booked it through American Airlines and in Bangor, Maine, since they have such a tiny little airport, they only have so many flights go in and out of Bangor, Maine. I think it's only like twice a week. They have people flying in and out. It's bad. Okay. It's bad. So because I did American Airlines, we had to do a layover. So we're getting on the plane and mind you, I am losing my mind. Okay. I will play the clip. I am losing my mind. I am freaking out because I was absolutely terrified about, about getting on this plane. I did not want to get on this plane. Clearly I did not want to get on this plane. So we are sitting there and you know, Corey is trying to like hold my hand and he like, he's filming it because he just kind of wanted to see my reaction. He wasn't doing it to be mean, but I was just clearly <laughs> not having it at this time. Um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Snow Bunny to help blend out this shade even more right here. So I just remember being freaked out. I remember not eating anything, sitting in the seat. I was shaking so hard, like I was uncontrollably shaking. And I just remember, um, sitting there and they were taking forever to get us to go like right they were just like teasing us i swear to god teasing us because i had to just wait for everybody to keep going and um i was absolutely mortified and terrified well as we started to take off on the actual runway like when we started to speed up man i was crying like legit i was crying because i was so so scared so we finally get up in the air. I remember taking a deep breath and being like, oh my God, okay, that wasn't so bad because I never knew what to expect. I didn't know what it was like because I had no memory of being on planes. I just knew I was terrified of it. So we get up in the air and I was just, oh my God, you know, that wasn't that bad. Like it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be so much worse, but it really wasn't. So we're up in the air and it is absolutely beautiful. Truly, truly beautiful. I was just blown away by how gorgeous it was flying in the air. And I was like, wow, you know, this is really nothing. We experienced a little bit, a little turbulence here and there, but I was like, I, this was nothing like I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like the movie Airplane. You know, I'm gonna be looking in and out of the window and seeing that there's a goblin on the plane and we're just gonna go down. Or like in Bridesmaid, there's a colonial woman churning butter on the plane. Like I had the worst fears of what would happen on the plane. And I think what really comes down to is I don't like that stomach dropping feeling on roller coasters which is crazy because i love roller coasters because i normally don't feel my stomach but like anything like a drop ride like splash mountain or like one of those like free fall stuff i can't handle i just i physically can't handle um i do not like that stomach feeling so i was just scared that's what i was going to feel the entire time on the airplane was just that stomach dropping feeling i don't know why i felt that i just did so that's what i thought was going to happen the, the entire time right and oh, wow, these shades are blending out so nicely, by the way. We're flying into, so our first layover was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and we had a 45 minute layover. And as we're slowly starting to approach Philadelphia, the weather starts to change tremendously. And it starts to get really, really overcast and it starts to get like bad weather. And we started to hit some serious turbulence. Now at first, the turbulence was kind of rocking us side to side. And I was like, okay, no big deal. I can handle side to side. But then it started doing that like dropping motion where it legit was just boom, boom, and just dropping us. I am grabbing my seat and Corey's like, it's okay. It's okay. This happens. This is so normal. And I'm like, I've, this is absolutely horrible. How do people like flying on the plane? And so we are experiencing that, right? And then the kid, three rows back is just puking his brains out. And I can't hear that. And I'm already in the state of panic because we're just nonstop, just dropping and dropping and side to side, dropping and dropping. And the air, the pilot comes on saying that we have to circle the airport for 30 minutes because we're experiencing horrible weather. And I'm like, no fucking shit we are. Like, what the hell? I'm terrified. I'm on the verge of tears again. Corey is so calm. He's like, everything's okay. This is normal. Like, don't, don't be alarmed. And I was like, this is absolutely horrendous. And this kid's like throwing up, filling up all these bags. I had to put headphones in because I just, I can't hear the noise. And uh, finally we were able to land and I was literally on the verge of tears going, that was the most horrendous thing I ever experienced. And Corey's like, yeah, I know that's normal. And I was like, I don't ever want to be on an airplane. 
So we get to the Philadelphia airport and it is the terminal that we need to go to is literally way across on the other side. And we had 45 minutes. So we were running and Corey's like, do you want anything to eat? And I said, fuck no, I don't want anything to eat. That was the most horrendous experience I've ever experienced to which, you know, he kind of laughed at. So then, um, we finally make it, we get to the R side of the airport and we're sitting there and they call us. And when they call us, I was like, oh my God, who, what's that little airplane doing like on the runway? And I realized that little airplane was our little airplane. We physically had to walk on the runway and rock up into this little pedal jump of a plane where it's two seats on one side, one seat on the other, and it's called American Eagle. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, we're not on a big plane. And I started losing my mind. Like I literally started losing my mind because I wanted to be on a big plane. Cause I just, for some reason in my mind, I thought bigger planes did not really experience turbulence as much. Cause I had, it's like the same concept of a cruise. The bigger the cruise ship is, the less, the less of the boat you feel rocking, right? Like at least that's in my experience. So we get on that, we, so we get on the little air jumper, the little pedal, little pedal jumper, mind you. And we take off and I'm just like, I am so excited because we we're only gonna be in the air for an hour. I was like, perfect, we're not gonna be flying long, perfect. We get up and they ask, they start serving us soda. And then immediately they come back around and say, we need to take your soda, we need to take your soda, we need to take your soda. And we're like, okay. So they take our soda and immediately for the rest of the flight, just whoom, whoom, and just dropping. And I'm literally looking at Corey and I'm in tears and I'm literally begging him to cancel our returning flight. We will rent a car. We will drive home. I don't care. I will call work. Uh, I will say that we had to drive home. There was like, you know, wrong, stuff wrong with the plane. I was like, we're not flying back. There's just no way. And, and, and there's nothing you can do to get me to fly back. This is the worst experience of my entire life. Crying, absolutely crying. So we finally get to Maine and we land and I literally am like kissing the ground like, <laughs> land beautiful land i tell Corey, I, we tell juan and Lisa the experience and Corey looks at me and goes i just want to let you know that was the worst turbulence i have ever experienced in my life because little did we know we flew into a horrible snowstorm so the wind is just going crazy and i was like that was absolutely horrendous and they convinced me to keep my remaining flight so we stayed there for a week had the best time in maine i absolutely loved going on the frozen lake playing in the snow you know sledding it was the coolest freaking thing ever like i absolutely loved my experience there and the food was truly phenomenal like new england knows how to make food i'll tell you that so we have to fly back and i literally did not want to fly back because i was like please let us just drive like i don't care Corey's like come on you just got to do this you got to you know conquer your fear 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 and i said fuck that <laughs> and i was i was not very nice because i was so scared so we take off again on a little pedal jumper. And once again, we are going through some horrible weather. So this time I took Dramamine. This time I took Dramamine to be safe. And when we went we, to be safe, and then we landed in Washington, DC this time, because that's where our labor flight was. People in the airport were saying how horrible the turbulence was. So I was like, well, shit, I definitely don't want to deal with this. So I took more Dramamine to be safe. And I was like, I'll take the one that's drowsy. So it like knocks me out. But when we got into like the bigger American airline airplane, we went from Washington DC to Orlando and that was about like a two hour flight. Not one turbulence, not one disturbance, not once. We didn't, we didn't move and Corey's like, this is how a flight's supposed to be. Um, I'm gonna go into the shade black comb right here. We're gonna do something a little different. We're kind of do shimmer all the lid. So I was like, what? He goes, this is how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be what we experienced because I'm telling you, this is how normal planes are. And I was like, okay, so then we went to Maine um, in 2019 or 2000, yeah, 2019, it was the most smoothest experience. So I told you guys all that because whenever I see weather like this, I am reminded of my experience of Maine because it just reminds me of like the snow and being there. And I absolutely love visiting Maine. It was like the best time ever. And when I see weather like this and I keep getting reminded like on social media, like, hey, four years ago, three years ago, four, four years ago, three years ago, you guys were in Maine. So Corey's like, oh, we should do that again. And Alyssa's like, yeah, we should do it where we guys come up during the summer so you guys can see Maine during the summer and during the fall. And I'm like, do we have to fly? So I never told you guys, I don't think I ever told you guys that story because it really is such a horrible story about the time that I was traumatized and went on an airplane. That's a really, really, really pretty shimmer. Absolutely pretty. Okay, then I'm gonna go into the shade Ski Bum and I'm gonna put that right in the center. Typically I put mattes in the inner corner, but this time I wanna just do like shimmer and see how that looked. Cause this is such a pretty, pretty, pretty shimmer it's such a pretty palette that i really just kind of want to try something just a little bit different because like i said i never really do shimmer all over the lids 
So I'm gonna try something just a little bit differently. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the shade, then we're gonna take the shade Power Specialist and see if I can just kind of tap that right in the center. It's kind of there, kind of there. And I'm gonna go back into that shade Snow Bunny right here. We're just gonna kind of blend out the upper shade to make it look just a little bit more blended. Now I think that's actually really pretty. Something I haven't done in a long time, like shimmer all over the lid with a matte blending it out. But I think I might do is I might take a little bit of like a highlight, like a really pretty highlight. It might just dab it just a little bit more in the center to give it more of like a zoomed in spotlight to it. But right now I really am loving how this looks. I think it's really pretty. The shimmers blend out really, really, really nicely. And it's just something that I haven't done here in a while. It's like something like this. So let me go ahead and do the other eye off camera. I'm gonna come back with like my eyes done and my face done. I'm gonna come back and do the lower lid together. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my horror story about flying. Why this reminds me of that, I don't know. I think it's just because it reminds me of the snow and that's pretty much the last times I've seen snow. So completely random story, but hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, we're gonna go back into this eyeshadow palette. We're gonna go back into that deep blue Snowmad shade right here. And we're actually gonna line the waterline with that. So I'm gonna take it on my E38 brush and we're actually gonna line that literally right on the waterline. I have to say this palette's actually really beautiful. It's getting me like really excited for like the Winter Olympics that are happening. It's so funny, the only time I ever watch the Winter Olympics is just to see the ice skating, because I love the ice skating and I also love um, the bobsled whenever they do like the luge or whatever. We're gonna go back into the shade Snow Bunny to blend that out and I'm gonna take it on my E37 brush. So now that it's blended out, I'm probably going to put maybe this gold shade right here called Skiin in the inner corner. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. I'm gonna put a white eyeliner on and I'm gonna come back with everything done in the face. We're gonna kind of go over the palette. I'll give you guys my thoughts on this palette. So I'll be right back guys. All right guys, and this is the final look. So what are my thoughts on the new Nomad Cosmetics, the Whistler palette? First off, I absolutely love the outside packaging. It really does look like a lodge. It looks like a ski lodge. Like you're about to go on, on a ski vacation to a lodge in a beautiful like snowy atmosphere. So I really do love how they did the outside packaging. I love that they did like a little insert right here. Super freaking cute, like you're at a lodge. I love the fact that they actually do like a postcard. They do this every single time they do a new palette. I love that they do that. And then when you actually look at the physical palette, I love the colors coming right here. It is so, Beautiful. It really does feel like a wintry vibe palette. Perfect for this season right here. I love how it looks. I love like you could do different colors with it. I love how you could do different colors with this. You could do bright, you could do bright, vibrant colors. You could do like a smoky look with it. You could do even in a neutral eye look with this. I really do love how they laid out this palette. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, the only thing I had trouble with is the shade Pow um, Powder Specialist. The only reason why I'm not the biggest fan of this is because it doesn't really yield much payoff at all. It is going to be a multi chrome, so you're going to see a little bit of a shift, but you guys can tell right here mine is actually getting a little stained because of this shade right here now this is the shade sky bum and these are both really beautiful these are both the dual chrome shades but i really had to kind of dig into this palette to yield enough payoff that i wanted i wasn't the biggest fan of these two shimmers normally i absolutely love nomad cosmetic shimmers but these two right here since they are dual chromes i feel like they're not as pigmented as their other shimmers like the other shimmers are so, so easy to work with. Like absolutely so easy to work with. You don't really have to dig in it too much to yield a lot of payoff. But these two dual chromes, I definitely had to press a little bit harder, really dig into it just a little bit more to get the payoff that I wanted. I will say the shade Ski Bum is absolutely beautiful. It does deliver that dual chrome effect. I don't know how well it comes off on camera, but in person you can really see the dual chrome shift, which I really do appreciate. I just kind of wanted the same kind of quality in these two shimmers as all their other shimmers, where they're a lot easier to work with. These ones, I just had to dig in just a little bit more to get the payoff that I was looking for. So that is a definitely, so that is something that I wasn't the biggest fan of. Love the colors, but I just didn't like how I had to work extra to get them to work. The mattes, super pigmented. There's not that much follow in the mattes at all and they blended absolutely beautifully. That shade Snowbad right here, truly beautiful. It went on the eye exactly how it is in the pan, which I really do appreciate. Sometimes you guys come across, sometimes you come across shades that look one way in the pan, but when you apply it on the eye, it look completely different. This is true to color. I love the way it blended out, super beautiful. Very bold, very vibrant. I also the shade Snow Bunny, again, a really easy shade to work with. I really did love that matte. Now the shade Ski Out, I actually use that to line my 
upper lid today, beautiful. And I used the shade Ski In to do the inner corners and the brow bone highlight, which I really do love. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I absolutely love how this eye look came out. Let me show you. I feel like it's a very, very beautiful eye look, very easy to achieve. It didn't take much work to get it to be as beautiful as it is. So I really do like that factor. And I just really do enjoy the quality of the palettes here. I love the little details they put into each of their press I love it. I love the little details they put into their shadows. Each one has like a different symbol press and there's like a bunny, there's a ski lift, there is the nomad symbol. Like I love how they really like put a lot of thought into the palette, into the theming, into the names. I really do enjoy the aesthetics of this palette. Absolutely. So even though I did have a little bit of struggle with the duochrome, I still absolutely love this palette. It is so beautiful. It's so easy to work with. I absolutely love this palette. It's getting me excited to see what else they're going to launch this year because they really do put a lot of thought and effort into each and every single one of their palettes. They're so thoughtful. They put a lot of coordinates. They put a lot of details and I just, I overall just really do love this. So this palette does retail for $39. You get 15 shadows in here. I'll make sure I list everything down below about this palette, but Nomad Cosmetics, thank you guys so much for getting this stream PR. I really do enjoy it. I absolutely do love this palette. I love the look that I came up with. Very, very fun, very like wintry, very snowy vibes. Really fits the vibe that's going on outside right now for us. So thank you guys so much. This is absolutely amazing. I love it. Okay, so quick editor alley here. I just want to quickly go over a couple things with you guys. So in this video, I kept saying the palette is now live. That's because I originally intended to have this video be posted on Tuesday when this palette was live, but I'm actually posting a date early so this palette actually launches tonight at midnight so technically tuesday at midnight but it's really tonight at midnight at midnight however if you do live, live over in the west coast then it's going to be launched launched live for you guys i think at like 9 p.m tonight 12 a.m midnight tonight for anyone on the east coast but um yeah i just kept saying it's gonna be live tomorrow because i originally attended this video to be live tomorrow and uh, i don't have a code but i just found out that my beautiful beautiful friend leah does have a code so if you guys use code leah10 you guys will actually save 10 percent off your purchase so like i said i'll still have everything listed down below but i just want to quickly jump in because i am going to be posting this video a day earlier than intended so this is editor ali here talking so i will cut out the rest of the parts in the video where i talk about it being live tomorrow it's going to be live tonight at midnight. Yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. I will list everything I'm wearing on my face down below so you guys will find that in the description. Make sure you guys do subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post four to five videos a week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's all for the life where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures. My amazing husband, Corey, where we are posting weekly vlogs over there. So go check it out. And as always, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to all these beautiful wonderful patron members you guys see here i cannot do this without you you guys are amazing and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribe you guys didn't subscribe either way i just love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in the very next video bye and i also love the fact that these are only okay <laughs> We're going to talk about it. I'm going to tell you guys what this is. PR. So you guys want to see NPR. I know. So first off, what I do love about Nomad Cosmetics is they think, is they use all recycling. Everything in here is sustain. Everything in here is sustainably. It has seven Lux mats, six lush, lush has beautiful, beautiful. Pe I'm that I haven't done like a shimmer all live. It's like, that's very bold, very vibrant, very bold, very, very.